Madison, Tennessee. 26 years old and currently working as an intern at uh, Liscombe's uh, athletic department and the strength and conditioning uh, program that they have here. My undergraduate degree is at Tennessee State University where I majored in uh, dietetics. I was uh, a sprinter at Tennessee State University for uh, four years. I started out at Lipscomb um, just by searching for a grad program. I was looking to uh, study sports nutrition and I just so happened to look up online and see where uh, Lipscomb was starting a new program in the fall of uh, 2010. And I just uh, applied for it and, and here I am. My experience so far in the strength conditioning program here, um, just really assisting the athletes uh, with their preseason pre training. Uh, I've also incorporated some of my knowledge with sports nutrition with the athletes, uh, providing them um, with some healthy options um, on, on campus. And so I've incorporated uh, some of the resources that the uh, college is offering the students and just applied it to uh, what we're doing here uh, in the weight room. And we're seeing some very positive uh, effects from that. So right after finishing uh, track, I wanted to take up something different, you know, that was exciting and kind of challenging for me. So I decided to follow my mother's footsteps and uh, venture off into the bodybuilding world. Uh, the category I compete in is uh, the men's physique category. It's a brand new uh, division that's just been added to the National Physique Committee. Uh, something that they're trying uh, for people who are not trying to build too much muscle mass, um, like the bodybuilders that you see on TV and, and the magazines, but something that's attainable um, without using, you know, anabolic steroids or uh, other hormones and, and things like that. I feel like as being a sports, you know, being a future sports nutritionist, uh, a prior collegiate athlete, something that I want to portray, you know, to people is that hey, you can build a nice physique without the use of anabolic steroids and still you know, have that beach body, have that V-shape that you want, that you've always wanted. And um, uh, through proper nutrition, rest, and uh, really pushing yourself in the gym. Hopefully I can get the pro card. I have, I'm going to the national championships in November. Um, and if I win my high class, then I will be considered a professional and go over to the ranks of the International Federation of Bodybuilders, mm -hmm. where I'll be competing against the uh, professional athletes there. Some of the things that help me keep my head in the game is uh, just self-motivation. You know, um, I'm very self-directed. Uh, um, you know, I look for myself to, to, to be the person to inspire uh, my actions and my goals. Uh, that I set out for myself. I also look for my wife. She's very supportive uh, in everything that I do. Always making sure that I'm watching my diet, that I'm getting up every morning for you know my cardio runs and the weight room, and you know taking the right supplements and everything. So um, that's that's really my strongest support system is my wife and you know my mother as well. Uh, just making sure that I'm um, just staying focused. So family and self-motivation and you know just the other athletes that have came before me. It was a little nerve-wracking. I didn't, I'd never been on stage before in front of people, you know. I'm a pretty shy guy, you know, kind of quiet, keep to myself, so it was definitely uh, uh, a different outlook for me, you know. Uh, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, you know, I just kind of see myself as being in the gym, you know, it's like working out, you know, I, I become a different person when I work out and when I'm in the gym with other people. I'm not the shy person, quiet person, you know, I'm really outgoing and fun and just really being myself. So I just kind of had to have that mindset, you know, when I'm on stage that I'm at the gym, you know, just working out with my shirt off and, you know, these people are just here to watch. The thing that's different about uh, strength and conditioning uh, programs versus personal training is that it's, the intensity level is higher. It's very uh, specific uh, for the athletes and for what uh, what they're trying to accomplish on the field or on the court um, or on the track. And uh, it's not so much about building a physique um, as mm, like what I'm doing in my bodybuilding. Um, it's, it's all based on performance and um, getting that athlete to its, its um, 
best condition ever uh, that they can do you know, during that season. Some of the best advice I can give athletes um, involving sports nutrition, number one, I would say is hydration. Uh, making sure you have enough fluids at the right time um, throughout the day. Um, particularly when they're finished with their workouts, you want to make sure that they're adequately hydrated. Also, they want to watch um, their dietary intakes as far as protein, um, carbohydrates, and fats. Um, and really focusing on carbohydrates, uh, making sure that they're replenishing their bodies with that after the workouts, even before, um, just so that their bodies can push, be pushed to the limits. Uh, Post-graduation, um, I, I still have to com complete a, a dietetic internship, and then I can go on to be a professional sports nutritionist. Um, on the other side of it, I would love to become a professional physique model uh, with the IFBB. Um, and if, if that happens not to work out, continue to go back to my old roots, which is track and field, and uh, hopefully, you know, go professional in that. So I feel like I still have a lot in me, 26 years old, and, you know, I still feel like as far as on the athletic side of my career, I still have a lot of potential to, uh, to flourish.